content strategist actually a good career? That's what we're gonna be talking about in today's video. And I'm gonna be talking about really important things such as how much money you make, the demand, satisfaction, and other X factors that are important when it comes to choosing a career as a content strategist. So if you appreciate this type of video, go ahead, gently tap that like button, and let's jump into it right now. All right, so first of all, what the heck is a content strategist? Well, a content strategist is responsible for developing content strategies based on business objectives of an organization or client. And so if a company owned a YouTube channel, for instance, they would probably have a content strategist that figures out what types of videos the YouTube channel should make. And on top of that, this person would probably pick the titles and they'd come up with the thumbnail concepts as well. And there are YouTube content strategists that make millions of dollars a year. And one website you can check out to find jobs or freelance work as a content strategist is ytjobs.co. And this is something that I'm gonna be talking about in three days, that's right, 72 hours from now in my upcoming workshop on becoming a content strategist. So this is one of my favorite careers and there's not really a straightforward way of getting into it. And the reason for that is because it's such a new career. But I'm basically gonna be giving away all my secrets on how to land a job as a content strategist in this workshop. And it's literally going to be a live Zoom session with me. And I wanted to make this a price that everyone could afford because typically I charge about $500 an hour for my time and I have way more people wanting to book those times with me than I have time to actually do it. So this is a steal and I will put a link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. Definitely check it out. And if you miss it for whatever reason, that same link will allow you to access the recordings. So yeah, basically a content strategist for YouTube specifically is going to help with the planning, writing, and recording of videos. So you would oversee that entire process to make sure that the videos are really good. And according to LinkedIn, 537,000 people work as content strategists. And of course, YouTube is one of the most popular types. And being a YouTuber is the number one job that young people want to get into in this day. It even ranks ahead of like rock star or professional athlete or professional musician. Now, because of the fact that this is such a new career, there's a lot of other careers that people hire for that have very similar names, but you end up doing this job essentially. One of them would be a content manager, which you make about $77,000 a year with, or a digital marketing specialist, which you make about $62,000 a year with, or a social media manager, which you'd make around $57,000 a year with, or a communications manager, which you'd make about $88,000, or a content director, where you'd make $137,000. So I think you get the idea. There are a lot of opportunities for this, but because of the fact that it's such a new career, there isn't really a clear infrastructure on how to get into it. And really, there isn't even a clearly defined name for what the career is. But with that being said, let's go on to section number two, which is the earning potential. How much can you make as a content strategist? Well, according to Glassdoor, they make around $73,000 a year. And that's a lot of money, but like I said, there's a lot of gray area when it comes to the name, and content directors make $137,000. And honestly, these numbers are really good, especially when you consider the fact that you don't actually have to have any previous experience to get into this role. And a lot of the time, they actually prefer young people. And the reason for that is because YouTube is so new that young people are going to understand the platform better than anyone else. So that's kind of why I'm doing the workshop. <clears throat> so yeah, when it comes to salary, this one is amazing. And like I said before, there are content strategists out there making over a million dollars a year. And I think that's going to become more and more common where good content strategists make incredibly good money because realistically speaking if you're able to take a bunch of time off of the plate of the youtuber who's making you know tens of millions of dollars they're probably going to pay you really well next let's talk about demand now demand might be the single most important variable this one's growing at about 13 percent over the next 10 years and that is very very good and if you take one of the names that is associated with this type of job which is marketing manager you look it up on linkedin you're going to see that there's over 130,000 jobs available and and marketing manager is growing at 10% over the next 10 years as well. So that's very, very good. And you're seeing more and more brands start to make content on platforms such as YouTube. And there's a reason for that. Not only can you make a bunch of money directly from the platform itself, but you can also sell your products on the platform and you can also establish your brand, right? It used to be that brands would just pay for advertisements on TV in order to establish their brand. Think of the Coca-Cola commercials, for instance. But let's be honest, almost nobody watches TV anymore. So you have to establish your brand on a bunch of different platforms to stay relevant. And when it comes to how much you make versus how much you spend making content, for instance, versus paid ads, it usually beats it by 30 X or more. That's right. You're going to get 30 X more for your money by making content than paying for paid ads. And that is why there's a ton of demand now. And I think there's
there's gonna be even more demand in the future. So when it comes to the demand, this one is excellent as well. Next, let's talk about job satisfaction. Now this one is incredibly difficult to objectively measure. It's always gonna be subjective. There might be one content strategist that absolutely loves their job. They wouldn't do anything else in the world and another one that absolutely hates it. But according to Payscale, which basically allows people to rate how satisfied they are with their job, content strategist scores four out of five stars. And that means most people are highly satisfied with their job. And content strategist falls under the category of media and communications workers, and they have a 36% meaning score and a 63% satisfaction score. And you can compare that to a parking lot attendant, which is the lowest out of all jobs at 5% meaning and 41% satisfaction. So it's relatively good, but it's not nearly as high as the highest job on the list, which is clergy, and that's 98% meaning and 90% satisfaction. But with that being said, the diverse nature of being a content strategist means if you don't like the job you have, you're probably going to be able to easily transition to one that you actually enjoy. And having that freedom to be able to transition is highly underrated. So overall, when it comes to the satisfaction, I'm gonna give this one a big thumbs up as well. Next, let's talk about X factors. And this is basically anything that doesn't fall under the other categories. So for instance, an X factor would be how easy it's going to be to automate this career. And in my opinion, it is basically going to be borderline impossible to automate this, right? AI is never going to be able to replace a content strategist. Or if they do replace them, they'll be one of the last jobs that get replaced because it has a great combination of creativity and business skills. And AI will never be able to understand what the market actually wants because the market is made up of human beings and AI still does not understand what human beings are going to do. They can't predict what people do. Another problem you wanna look at is outsourcing. How easily outsourced is this job? And again, because of the fact that you would be making content for people who are probably in your area, right? So if you're in the United States, you'd be making content for people in the United States. It's very difficult to outsource the creative side of making that content because people outside of the United States don't understand what people in the US want, right? So humor, for instance, is completely different in the US versus outside of the US. The news, politics, the general vibe of what the country is like is not something that someone outside of the country is gonna be able to easily understand. And so it's gonna be very difficult to outsource this stuff. And then another thing I like to talk about is flexibility. So is this one of those jobs that teaches you in-demand skills where if you wanted to change your job or go into a different field altogether, would it help you? And the answer to that is yes. There are gonna be lots of opportunities for you to go into other fields or change your job within the field of content strategy if you want to. So overall, when it comes to X factors, I'm also gonna have to give this one a big thumbs up. And for the overall score, I'm gonna give this one a nine out of 10 rating. This is definitely an excellent career to get into. There isn't an established infrastructure right now, so it's not one of those things where you can easily just look it up on Indeed or LinkedIn and just apply for jobs super easily because they haven't really even decided what the name of the career is going to be. There's like five or 10 different careers. They kind of do the same thing. So this is one where you have to get a little more creative if you want to find the exact job that you're going for. And that's exactly what I'm going to be teaching people how to do in this workshop. So the workshop is going to be exactly 72 hours after this video is posted. Details for that are going to be down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. Definitely check it out because I will be there. I'll be live and I'll be teaching you guys everything I know about getting into this career. So super excited to do this. Like I said before, if you are not able to show up, if you miss it for whatever reason, there will be a recording and you can access that through the link down below as well. And if you didn't check it out already, I did make a video on the 21 highest paying remote jobs and you can check that out by clicking right here.